Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Jason. I'm the Chief Business Officer, Officer of Mark Desider. I'm actually here today representing about 50 people who are headquartered in Romania. And I'm here in San Francisco this week uh, to open up our U.S. office. And so we've been in business now for the last three years. And three years ago, this uh, company was developed as a need. The founder of our company um, has actually had founded Romania's largest online car insurance program. And today they, they uh, insure about 160,000 cars in the country. And what had happened is he had all these visitors coming to his website, but not everyone was buying something. And if you have a website today, whether it's e-commerce, whether it's lead generation, whether it's uh, B2B, whether it's SaaS, we all have this issue, right? We have visitors coming, but they're not necessarily taking an action that we want them to take. And today, traffic has become incredibly expensive. So we are in the conversion rate optimization industry. And what Valentin had done at that time is he started to look around to see what was available. And what was available was either early enterprise level, you had your optimized leads, you had your Adobe tested targets, digital website optimizer. So not exactly uh, price sensitive for startups and, and other types of companies. And the other challenge was is that you'd have to go to one place to get A-B testing, you'd have to go to another place to get personalization, you'd go to another place to get surveys, and so on and so forth. And so that would slow down your website. And it would cost you more money because you need multiple uh, platforms. So what we've developed over the last three years is that 10,000 websites are using worldwide today. Uh, clients in the U.S. include UFC. Uh, we finished up a six-month contract with Forbes. We work with Avon in six countries. Um, is a completely all-in-one solution. A/B testing, web personalization, segmented surveys, and we have a segmentation engine that's considered to be one of the most expensive in the entire industry. The reason it's considered so expensive is because it's available in all of our clients. We don't separate out what's called like an enterprise level one. So this is our A-B testing tool. I'm gonna to kind of run through a little bit of a live demo with you guys. We designed this really with the marketing team in mind. Uh, so you can do this by the tool. You can do split URL testing, or you can simply just highlight over the different elements on the page and make really cool quick changes to headlines. Uh, you can test out images. You can test out And we now have one of our first A-B tests that we run on this page. We can also do MBT testing on the page as well. Uh, the, the other thing that we've created in inside of our system is the ability for you to actually use a winning variation uh, as a control in your next experiment. There's two reasons you want to do that. A, it speeds up your testing, so you don't have to wait for your dev team to actually go and implement the winning test. So you can actually run your traffic through our system until they're ready to do it. And you can just keep testing and testing and testing until you have the winning test as well. Um, in terms of the segmentation engine, these are some of the things that you're able to create the segmentation by. Now, you, you know, a lot of you guys use Google Analytics. We have IBM here, even IBM's Visual Analytics. What that does, though, is it provides you reporting on quantitative data of stuff that's going on on your website. What our tool allows you to do is then create segmentation by it. So traffic source, geolocation, we're able to segment by weather temperature, weather condition, uh, the country, the city they're coming from, uh, behaviors of new visitors, returning visitors, you know, you can create a segment within the current session. So we can say, hey, someone does two page views, spends 35 seconds on the site, I want to segment those people up right away. UTM parameters, uh, we also do custom segmentation. So this can be really cool because if you've got a login on your website, we're able to create segmentation by any point in your database. And from a privacy standpoint, we actually don't take any of that data. We just, we just push us a value when we segment out of that. We can also do technology, so things like IP addresses and so on. But we also wanted the entire conversion experience to be also related around qualitative data. So you can do surveys, insight surveys, or in-session surveys with our tool, and you can create real-time personalization by the responses that are given, and also segments by the responses that are given as well. What that does is it gives you the ability to have an automatic salesperson online, it creates the ability to create you know, offers based on the responses, or it gives you the ability to do uh, you know, redirect the program. We, this is really, really fascinating. <laughs> Done? Uh, you have 20 more seconds. <laughs> okay. we, also do, we also do personalization. So our personalization looks like this. You can go out there and personalize you know, in many different ways. 
By the way, it's, you know, I always like to say this, it's 2016. If every one of your visitors sees the exact same experience every time they come to their website, your website is five years old. So real-time personalization is incredibly important. And so one of the things you can do with us is you can go out there and create different types of personalized experience. Uh, you can do uh, real-time dynamic text replacement of temperature, city, custom variables, on-page uh, on variables, things like product IDs. Uh, we have you know, fashion clients of ours who will replace things like uh, temperature and city. Uh, we have travel industry clients who do kind of the same thing, and so on and so forth. So that is a super, super fast version of the 23-minute <laughs> demo that we usually give. Uh, questions? No question. Everyone always asks what I'm going to do for Romania. <laughs> I'm originally from Canada. I went to Romania for women. No. <laughs> My wife is Romanian. Yes, sir. So how does this differ from Optimizely? Um, that's a great question. How are we different from Optimizely? We are faster, cheaper, um, and we are all in one. So they focus really on AD uh, testing. They have launched the personalization tool as well. For the cost of what you would pay them, use their platform, you can actually get fully managed services with us. So our clients are at 59 bucks a month. Great question. Good. You answered it. Okay. <laughs> yes. So once you've gotten the website that you really like and you're done, how do you transfer out of your service and, and, and basically copy, uh, you know, have the HTML that you need? Yeah, so you can constantly, when you have a winning variation, you can go out there and get that, you know, put into a card code that in for yourself. But conversion rate optimization is a completely ongoing process. You're going to, you know, you're, today, let's say e-commerce, your average 2% is the conversion rate for a website. So you have a thousand people coming to your website, or sorry, a hundred people coming to the website, so you're going to constantly be working on that. Even some of the greatest, you know, sexiest websites in the world, Amazon, for example, has a conversion rate of 18%. So they're constantly working on it too. Uh, Google, three years ago, ran 7,000 A-B tests that year, and they're constantly working on it as well. Did I, I didn't ask the question, what was the question? <laughs> well, so, so all I'm gonna how do you, sorry, I'm going to repeat the question. How do you transfer that information over, and uh, you know, do, you know, when do you stop? You never stop. You want to constantly keep optimizing your website. Well that, so, but that doesn't quite answer the question, and that is, I realize you'd like us to have a perpetual subscription, right? But um, uh, you know, other people come along. Different, you know, markets change. You know, change is not always good. Sometimes change is bad. And so, knowing how, if you have an exit plan, so, so let me let me let me answer that question this way because it's a great question. Um, I worked in retail uh, when I was younger. Uh, okay. Oh. So um, how do you have an exit plan from optimization? Um, there's, there's no such thing as an exit plan from optimization because down the street there's Macy's and every single day they <coughs> change you know, the specials that they have going through the front door. They, they change what they put in the front, what they want in the back. They're constantly optimizing the sales experience as well based on what's happening. And this is the exact same part that you would do with your website. If you walked into Macy's down the street, and they hit the same thing every single week just because they made some sales last week, they wouldn't be in business very well. Does that help? <coughs> Any other questions? I have time for one more question. Let's do it. Nope? Okay. I will also tell you that the gentleman that's about to come up is, uh, I've been, we've been <coughs> for the last 12 months and they are amazing. So 